Last time on The Nerd Room. I'm going to make my first attempt at a Nuzlocke challenge. Piplup! Alright, will you choose the penguin Pokemon Piplup? Yes, we will. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Welcome to the family, Horatio. A sh oh no! Oh no, that's not good! Please don't know an electric type move! No! No, 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, that's not good! <laughs> don't die yet, come on! <laughs> Thank you, okay! <laughs> Dang, this is stressful! <laughs> Here we go, alright, who am I gonna add to my team? Starly, okay. Antoinette the Starly. How's it going everybody? My name is Al and welcome to the Nerd Room and today we're playing more of the Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. So yeah, I think first things first, we're gonna deliver this parcel to Ralph here. Hey Ralphie. Hey Ali, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? Yeah, for me especially, because I only have so many of them. <laughs> so, Allie, what brings you here? You've got something for me? You deliver the parcel. Yes, I do, Ralph. There you go. So what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Allie, you take one. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Oraberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokémon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road. I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Yep. See ya. Yep. Hello, sir. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketch yet. Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketch. All right, cool beans, bro. So yeah, I do have uh, two accounts going right now in this game. The one account is uh, is this one here, me playing the uh, me playing the Nuzlocke, and the other account I have on my normal account on this Switch is uh, is just me playing the game normally. So I do kind of know what to expect here, and like generally what to do. Which actually kind of works out, because uh, I know Oroberg City is not too far that away. And on my regular account, where I had no limitations on like what Pokemon I could catch or how many of them I could catch, um, Rourke wiped me. <laughs> like the moment Cranidos came into battle, he just freaking took out my whole team. <laughs> So yeah, me having that little bit of uh, forewarning might actually help me survive this. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. I thought, why are you stopping me? I got all the coupons, but I haven't I haven't actually gone back to the guy to get my Poketch yet. <laughs> here are your coupons, sir. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Poketch here and... One, two, three. Bravo. I say bravo. So wait, you need your Poketch to count to three? And yet you're an entrepreneur. How does that work? <laughs> In return for these coupons, I'll present I present you with this Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Alright, cool. I got my Poketch. Now I can head to Orberg City. <laughs> and yeah, I believe Ralph will challenge me. Yep, here we go. In my regular playthrough uh, on the other account. This battle was a freaking battle of attrition. Because, like, on the regular account, I've selected Piplup, too, because for the Sinnoh starters, he's probably my favorite. So that means that Ralph here had Turtwig, and he basically just kept using Withdraw, so he kept bumping his defense. So I was basically doing one damage every turn. <laughs> hey, Allie, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Okay, so yeah, the moment Turtwig enters the fray, I gotta just get right on top of that and start whacking him. <laughs> yeah, I can deal with a Starly. Oh yeah, I also did find another video that was actually quite useful. It was like a more... Like, basically what I did to look up the, uh, the, uh, Nuzlocke rules was just go to, like, uh, Bulbapedia, or th I think it was, that I found them on. But somebody actually made, like, a comprehensive layout 
of the rules and, like, put it in, like, a whole video and everything with, like, exceptions to rules and stuff like that. Specifically for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, so that was quite useful. And yeah, actually, let me actually see if I can quickly find, uh, his, uh, channel here, because I might as well give him a shout-out for helping me out with this. So yeah, thank you to D Alpha Wolf for your Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Nuzlocke rules. That was incredibly helpful. Oh wait, why'd I use Water Gun? That's gonna be oh, weak against... Oh, actually, did more damage than I thought it would. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with you using Tackle as long as you're not raising your defense. Uh, let's see, how much damage is Pound gonna do? Oh dear, here, here we go. Okay, I'll keep using Pound, and he's probably gonna keep using Withdraw, yeah? Oh no, he's using Tackle again, perfect. Yeah, as long as you're not raising your stats any, I think we'll be alright. Oh boy. Quit doing that, alright? You're just gonna do- You're just delaying the inevitable, Ralph. Alright, all you're literally doing is wasting my time here. Get out of the- Oh boy, that does so little. No, stop doing that! Okay, we got him in the red. By my calculations, it should only take about 15 more hits. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, make that 17. Oh, my goodness, it goes down so little. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Stop doing- How many more times can your defense go up? Yes, thank you. All right, the opposing Turtwig fainted. Thank goodness. That was not near as bad as it was in my normal playthrough, seriously. It was like... It was like a solid 40 turns back and forth. What? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokémon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that. I'm going to toughen up for that. Totally. Alright, bye, Ralph. Meanwhile, I gotta run Horatio back to the Pokémon Center. So yeah, I did do a bit of level grinding between episodes like I said I would, but, but it's kind of... It's kind of difficult because I want to... I want my Pokémon to be tough, obviously, but I also don't want them to be too tough in the sense that I will immediately kill any Pokémon I'm hoping to catch because I only have one shot at that. The only exception being is if I run into another Starly, then I can catch the Pokémon after that. Okay, well, I've already got one of you, so no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you will not be joining my team, Starly. Dang, there are freaking Starly everywhere around here. Come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Wow. Wow, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> what the heck? What the frick? How many Starlies are in this area? I'm gonna... I'm switching patches of grass, come on. Really? Really, you followed me over here? Get away from me. <laughs> oh! Oh, there we go! There we go! That's what I'm talking about! Come on, baby! Yeah. Yeah. Yep! Yes! There we go! Alright, cool! Okay, there we go. Now Antoinette knows a flying type move as well. Alright, you know what? And I think I already know the I think I already know the perfect name for Abra here. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh Penn and Teller Fool Us, so I have magic on the mind. So, um so yeah, I think Houdini is the perfect name for an Abra. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Houdini. I'm pretty sure they only know teleport right now, right? Yep, literally the only move that Abra knows at the moment is teleport. But they, sorry, they will still be gaining XP from like Horatio and Antoinette battling. So eventually, hopefully, Houdini will be a, a real powerhouse. I know that he won't be able to turn into an uh, Alakazam because trading is off limits in um, in uh, Nuzlocke, but still, I think having a Kadabra will be really useful. I just had to get through the freaking gauntlet of like 20 Starlies to get to him. Really? Really? I took one step. Ooh, there we go. Oh, Geodude could be really useful, but I gotta make sure I don't kill it. It could probably take a pound, right? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so I can just use pound to keep whittling it down. And as long as I, uh, as long as he doesn't pull any moves to kill Horatio, we'll be all right. Come on, Geodude, you are joining the party. Come on. Yep. 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 Booyah! There we go. Welcome, Geodude. All right, now what to name you? I'll just use that uh, random word generator that I used to find Antoinette's name. Julio. <laughs> Julio, okay. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. If I'm mispronouncing that, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Julio. All right, there we go. Made it to Oraburg City. Oh, it's you, Ali. You finally got here. You're slow like always. Okay, dude. Maybe this is like a, uh, Barry Allen situation where it's like, not, <laughs> we're not slow. You're just stupidly fast. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, the Oraburg, or to Oraburg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Yep, alright, so we're off to Oraburg Mine. Just as soon as I make a stop at the Pokemon Center. Now, the thing I am worried about going into the mine is that I'm gonna end up having to catch another rock type. Well, I guess I don't have to. I could just, like, kill it and leave the XP, but that means that I can't catch anything else in the Oraburg mine. So I want to make sure I have a- I want to make sure I have a nice varied team, because so far that's working out pretty well. I guess I am going to come back in here anyway to do a bit of level grinding, because I don't think I'm near high enough level to take on Rourke. Because like I said, in my regular playthrough- oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, Geodude. So yeah, you are- to me, Geodude, you are now XP. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here and do some level grinding anyway, because, um, uh, as I said, in my regular playthrough, Rourke wiped me. So yeah, I gotta make sure that my team is up to snuff before taking him on. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Bam! Thank you very much for the demonstration, Rourke. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in the town, you'd be able to do this, too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. And then he just dips. <laughs> so yeah, I am actually pretty close to the level that I beat Rourke's gym at. I, was, I believe my Piplup was level 15. I did also kind of luck out in the battle in the fact that, uh, like, on the battle where Rourke wiped me, the Cranidos came out and, like, head-butted Piplup which made him flinch. And it also did a shit ton of damage, which was not fun. Uh, but yeah, on the battle where I beat him, uh, Cranidos used, I think it was Leer or some, or some similar move. So Piplup was able to get the, the water gun off and immediately take him down. So it's going to be a, so it's going to be a, a mix of luck and, uh, and, uh, levels. Because, yeah, if I lose Piplup in this gym battle, I am dead. Just, there's just no two ways about it. I am just screwed. Ooh. Ooh, Onyx. Can I evolve Onyx without having to trade? I don't remember, because if so, Steelix might not actually be a bad addition. Dang it. Okay, it evolves into Steelix when traded while holding a metal coat. Okay, so yeah, no. So yeah, in a, in a Nuzlocke, Onyx cannot evolve. So yeah, sorry Onyx, you are just a source of XP for me now. Okay, there we go. Horatio has reached level 15. Heck. Okay, yeah, I think I will make him uh, replace something with, uh, with Peck. Let's replace Growl. So there we go. Horatio's now level 15. So now with a little bit of luck, we should be able to defeat Rourke. Here I come, Rourke! Welcome. This is the Oraburg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright. Here we go. So yeah, the first two aren't too bad. It's just it's just this guy's cranidos that I'm worried about. Geodude, I can take down in one hit. 
Onyx, I, his Onyx, I believe, has Sturdy, so he'll survive a one-shot KO. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta really cross my fingers and hope that Craney Dose doesn't decide to use Headbutt. Okay, so yeah, that's the easy part. Now comes the part where it's sink or swim. Because like I said, if I lose freaking Horatio, I am screwed. Maybe Julio might be able to like tank enough hits to take him down, but I doubt it. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Here goes nothing. I know for a fact I can take him down in one hit. I also know that he's faster than me. I just gotta make sure or hope, rather, that he doesn't use headbutt. Please! No! Gah. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, no! No, he's still alive! He's still alive! Okay, nope. No way! Not yet! Not giving up! You're darn right! Okay, so the headbutt did less than half, so he should be able to survive another. The only risk I'm taking, though, is, um... Like, I got lucky with uh, Horatio not flinching from that. So if he uses Headbutt again, and then makes Horatio flinch, then I'm in a tough situation. <laughs> I just gotta go for it. Please? Oh, okay, he used a potion. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rourke, for not using Headbutt. Get out of here, Kratos. Booyah! <laughs> Whoo! There we go. First gym badge in the bag. What? That can't be! My buffed up Pokemon! Whoo! <laughs> there we go. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your own gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. Booyah! Oh, there we go. That is a load off my mind. <laughs> Alright, so there we have it. I've cleared the first major hurdle in my Nuzlocke run. That being said, I am slightly worried about the next gym. The next one is Gardenia, who I know for a fact is a Grass-type gym leader. Yeah, Horatio and Julio uh, can be immediately dealt with with Grass-type. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure grass type are weak to flying type, and Antoinette does no wing attack, so maybe once I reach Gardenia's gym, I'll switch Antoinette in uh, for like the main spot where Horatio is right now and use her. But we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. For now, we've reached a milestone, and I think this is as good a time as any to cut the episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!